This is going to be the first knot in the Why Not series. Um, when you go to tie down a bike with a cam type strap, where you push a button here to release it, or you pull it down here and it holds it, it's important that you tie it in a knot unless you're going to be driving on perfectly smooth roads without any potholes or bumps. And I've never encountered such a situation as that. So what I do is I do what I call a number four knot. The reason why I call it the number four knot is because when you start it out, you make the number four. And uh, the key to doing a good number four knot, I'll just tie one real quick and then I'll show you the breakdown on it. But here's the number four, come around up underneath, flatten it out, give it a tug, and pull it till you hit the end of the line. Just give it a couple of tugs. Then with the excess so they're not flapping around, you protect the plastics of your bike by wrapping the buckle in the excess and then you just run that like that and I found those to be really good in terms of uh, protecting your bike and also keeping it from coming loose. Now you may not have experienced these come loose but I've had bikes about fall off the trailer because of this not being done. What happens is, is you have a front suspension that will collapse and expand and when this gets loose you can have all kinds of things happen, but ultimately when it comes back, it snaps so hard that it, it bites and frays on this for one, but it also loosens it. And then once it's loosened, then the hooks can come out from underneath and then you're done. So what I do, as I said, is a number four knot. Now having the buckle facing you, you make a number four. And the whole key to doing this properly is to think of your loop as being four or five inches below which is at the end of your number four. Isn't that nice how that works out? So you come around with your loop and you see how these are layered one on top of another. When you have them layered like that you can fit them in this little recess under the buckle and that's where your knot comes from. And you can stack them so that your number four piece that's to the outside is higher than the other piece. So you can do it the other way, but this way is the easiest because this creates a ramp for you to get up underneath of there. You see the way that works? This end is my excess, this is my loop, and that just kind of makes a ramp and then this can go up behind it into that space. And you just pull it up and it really wants to stay. So that's the number four knot and I'm actually going to ride this bike down the road in just such a fashion. And then I'll want to do the same thing with the one on the other side, on this side, that I have to the carrier down there. So I'll wrap that up and it'll, like I say, it'll protect my bike from getting chewed up by the buckle and if that's all you care about, that's enough to make it worth doing. But more importantly, it creates security for you and everybody else on the road with you. You ever seen the one where they tie a dirt bike on the back of that car on that little hatchback and it slides out and falls over because the wheels aren't held? What I've done here is I've got a pin that goes through the wheel and it's down in a channel. So it's being held here, it's being held here as a safety precaution or in the case of an extreme uh, bump. And then it's also being held here. But most importantly, you know, it won't go forward or backward or side to side. And then this one you don't need to pin and the tire's too fat anyway, but it's held at the back and it's held there. We'll take the ramp, then the ramp just stores up here. This is something that somebody else designed and had made in China really crappy. And so what I did is I bought one of these, it was like 60 bucks I think. And then I took my welder and I just welded the crap out of it. I took all the bolts out of it to spare on the weight and then I just welded everything. You don't need bolts if you're welded in. And the welds weigh less than the bolts do. And it makes the whole thing not rattle and it makes it all be worthwhile. Anyway, that's the number four knot. This is how I roll. People have, you know, when I first did this, I did it backwards and the handlebars got in the way and I couldn't see what the heck was going on on the road. But with this, the only part of my visibility that's hindered is if somebody's off on the side of the road and even that I can see but going down the road this actually works out really well especially if you're up here like I am I can see over the bike really good so 
hope you enjoy my video if you like it be sure to subscribe i'll be making more like this and uh if you want to reference it later you can click see down below where it says add to and click on that and then it'll do a drop down to favorites you can add it to your favorites so thanks for watching cheers